going to church and sitting in the pews, if you will, doesn't make you a Christian or a follower of Christ any more than sleeping in a garage makes you a car. <laughs> it isn't just about geography. It's about the heart. Mm -hmm. and, and what I love most about the entire construct of Jose and his experience is it was about the heart. We made a covenant, but the fidelity wasn't there. This is a great model mm -hmm. of saying, where is your heart? And if your heart's not there, box is checked. You need the internal as well as the external. It's such an important phrase that Christ himself uses this scripture in speaking to the Pharisees who, who would fall into the same patterns we often do of thinking we've done enough when we've gone through the externals. This is Matthew 9 um, where Jesus is sitting at to eat with publicans and sinners and the Pharisees are disturbed by that because for them their idea of holiness is external. And so if you eat with people who are ritually impure, as publicans or tax collectors were, that you become ritually impure. And Christ then invites him to rethink the idea of holiness. And one thing he says, of course, is that I need to minister to people who are, need healing, the, the, the holy not a physician, but they that are sick. But then he says, go and learn what that meaneth. And then he quotes this passage in Hosea. I will have mercy, not sacrifice, and then he says, I'm not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And I think being called to, to repent of being superficially righteous is some, a call to repentance we could probably all mm -hmm. hear on a regular basis. Mm -hmm.